It takes only a glance at the business section of a newspaper or an annual report of a company to see how extensively percents are applied in business. Percents are the primary way of measuring change among business variables. For example, a business report might reveal that revenue is up 6% this year or expenses have been cut by 2.3% this month. Interest rates, commissions, and many taxes are expressed in percent form. To this point, we've learned that fractions and decimals are ways of representing parts of a whole. Percents are another way of expressing quantity with relation to a whole. Percent means per hundred or parts per hundred. Percents are represented by the percent sign as seen here. Percents are numbers equal to a fraction with a denominator of 100. 5%, five for example, means five parts out of 100 which may be written in these following ways. Percent problems involve the use of equations known as the percentage formulas. These formulas have three variables, the base, the portion, and the rate. In business situations, two of the variables will be given and are the knowns. One of the variables will be unknown. Once the variables have been properly identified, the equations are simple to solve. The variables have the following characteristics, which should be to use to help identify them. The base is the number that represents 100%, or the whole thing. It's the starting point, the beginning, or the total value of something. The portion is the number that represents part of the base. The portion is always the same in terms of the base. For example, if the base is dollars, the portion is dollars. If the base is people, the portion is people. The portion often has unique characteristic that is measured or compared with the base. For example, if the base is the total number of cars in a parking lot, the portion could be the part of the total cars that are convertibles, the unique characteristic. The rate is the number with the percent sign or the word percent in your problem. It defines what part the portion is of the base. If the rate is less than 100%, the portion is less than the base. If the rate is 100%, the portion is equal to the base. And if the rate is more than 100%, the portion is greater than the base. The following percentage formulas are used to solve percent problems. Portion equals rate times base. Rate equals portion divided by base. And base equals portion divided by rate. Another method for remembering these percentage formulas is the magic triangle that you see here. Remember, the portion is a part of the whole and will always be in the same terms as the base. It is found by multiplying the rate times the base. P equals R times B. The following examples will demonstrate solving for portion. The rate is the variable that describes what part of the base is represented by the portion. It is always the term with the percent sign. When solving for the rate, you'll answer will be a decimal. Be sure to convert the decimal to a percent by moving the decimal point, point two places to the right and adding a percent sign. We use the formula rate equals portion divided by base. To solve business situations in which the whole or total amount is unknown, we use the formula B equals P divided by R. In calculating the rate of increase or decrease of something, we use the same percentage formula concepts as before. Rate of change means percent change, therefore the rate is the unknown. Once again, we use the formula R equals P divided by B. Rate of change situations contain an original amount of something, which either increases or decreases to a new amount. In solving these problems, the original amount is always the base. The amount of change is the portion. The unknown, which describes the percent change between two amounts, is the rate. Percentage points are a way of expressing a change from an original amount to a new amount without using a percent sign. When percentage points are used, it is assumed that the original amount of the percentage points is the base amount, or the whole to which the change is compared. For example, if a company's market share increased from 40% to 44% of the total market, it's expressed as an increase of 4 percentage points. The actual percent change in business, however, is calculated by using the following formula. Rate of change equals change in percentage points divided by the original amount of percentage points. 
To illustrate, a change in percentage points is 4 and the original amount of the percentage points is 40. Therefore, rate of change equals 4 divided by 40 equals 0.10 or 10% increase in market share.